I do have something in the game called exposure. Right. Uh, okay. Which is how it's how visible you are to uh, to right. citizens as being, hey, you're that guy. Right. Um, and some people are, you know, like the player character who's literally a celebrity, high exposure. Right. I mean, right. it's hard for them to just disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easier for you know lower lower status characters to to, to blend in or disappear. Uh, I do agree citizens should be a threat. Mm -hmm. Right now, they're a threat in the form of um, because you can form relationships relationships with them and they can start to pull at you in different ways. Right. But I was thinking, a, I was thinking more in terms of, yeah, I was, I've been thinking in terms of, um, well, just basically, you know, you're a suspicious character. Yeah. Do they not the think twice about you or do they think twice about you? Right. 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 I don't have anything like that no, right it's, now. It's, and that's just a, it's a thought. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of an, I, I like the idea of saying, well, what are we going to do? Okay. We got to find some stuff out and we've got to avoid being, you know, annoying citizens and right. we've got to keep this guy under wraps. Right. And we got to do all this at once. Right. Right. And so the, the idea being that you can't ever, I mean, there may be citizen situations in which citizenry are completely, you know, not, not a problem, but when they are, they're one of those things that's going to be a role too. I mean, right? they could be a hazard, right? Can be, can be, yeah. That's like, Unless you, know, you get the role, and, and that would be the result of getting, you know, failing a role against their presence. Yeah, complication. Um, the citizens are alert. Right. And right. you do now is going to be at hazard until right. you move to a new location. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's that's a way. Yeah. There's, so there's that, and then finally, I guess, is the uh, the the notion of the dial of just how awful all of this is going to be. If you, right. if you make it unawful, then you end up in sort of action movie set piece land. Which I'm fine with. Right. Well, that's what I'm asking, I, right? Yeah. And is, then if, is you a, dial it up, if you dial it up, you end up in stalking horse trigger land. Right. And, um, and so it's it's kind of interesting. I I think it's an okay tension between the two, because the source material that we're talking about really struggles with that tent with that as well. You know, there's there's a, a tendency to go overboard but a little serious, and there's a tendency to be superficial and flashy and spectacular. And mm -hmm. the question is, I mean, I, I personally think that the one liner in the eighties, you know, scene, the eighties media, um, really gets instituted because otherwise you would care too much. Right. Right. I mean, if you ask me, the original Die Hard is a much, much better movie without the line, yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Ever. Yeah. It's a better movie. On the other hand, it's more obviously... I mean, its story is unavoidable. The realization of what you're watching would be, in that case, unavoidable. Right. Whereas Die Hard can, is a, yeah. as a like a, a basically a home invasion type movie would be rough. Well, and yeah, and not only that, but as a you know this this guy's marriage, he's fucking up his marriage. Can he get her back? Right. And um, and all of that is met in the movie, all those things, but as well as a great deal of you know corporate people are bastards, which is, yeah. you know, yeah. always good. Um, and the, the sense that when you throw in the one liners, you're kind of just softening it. So you get to chuckle over something, you know, along the way. Um, mm -hmm. So what I'm, I'm just trying to point out some of the tension that I see throughout that. And, you know, the Burke novels themselves, you know, they, they try to be, you know, bring up these serious issues and they do. And then sometimes they kind of go over the top and wacky about it. And you have these strange yeah. events, you know, that we talked about where, um, you know, you have the superhero stuff. strange gadgets and, you know, God yeah. knows what. And you're reading it. Yeah. Going, Wait, really? You know. I read a, uh, there was a review of Flood. It was like a one or two star review 
and they're like, I like, you know, I get what the author's trying to do and it's laudable, but I couldn't deal with all the secret secret doors and hideouts and gadgets right. and right. Like, that's the fun stuff. Like, well, that's otherwise. the thing. I mean, it, it, it walks yeah. an interesting line. It keeps those from, okay, ideally, those don't end up being too stupid too often. Right. And ideally, the tough stuff is present, but doesn't gross you out and make you shut down and walk away too often. And right. I think it's fair to say that throughout the however many novels, what was it, 15 or some damn thing? 18. 18. 18. Um, that I think, you know, if, as you go through all 18 of those, and, and again, if you go through a ton of the movies and other sources we're talking about, you will see that instead of perfectly balancing on that line, it's basically a drunken stagger back and forth across yeah. it, you know, constantly. And so I kind of wanted to draw your attention to that and say that, you know, the, the game having grosser or toughing, tougher content in a in a not particularly functional combination with the the hijinks, actually kind of works. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see about that. I am gonna have a, a mode, kind of like I did in Octane. I want to do modes of play, right? Where you can do the pure eighties, you know, Schwarzenegger action movie, um, all the way down to the street level, grim, right? Hard, tough to deal with issues. Mm -hmm. uh, and then because because there are roles like the killer mm -hmm. and um i mean that's that's the big one but the killer the commando a lot of the violent characters um they're gonna actually have their own styles broken right. into action violence and intrigue i see and you okay. can kind of modulate your game based on that i don't know if i'm gonna have any specific rules about um you know there might be specific rules about hazards or death or pain right. or you know whatever that it's kind of I've, interesting you're gonna have to sort of feel your way through that through actually playing i think yeah um so interesting um tell me what you have in mind for the number of people playing uh three to five mm -hmm. so um, part of me part part of me is like this is a one or two person game and then i'm like eh, like the idea of it the idea of a kind of a so it's burke with his family or it's the a team or it's um you know oceans 11 or something like that you know it's it's right. very much I, I see it as very ensemble too because one of the nice things about your dice system is that nobody is going to be able to you're going to be burned away you know you're you're going to be sucking wind on dice and problems yeah by yourself pretty fast yeah, the, the the strategic aspects of having this person do this, this person do this, and that person do that in order to keep everybody firing well. Right. You know, I do this so that your role is good. You're doing that so my role is good. Um, that makes a lot of sense to me because it won't always go well, and that just gives you okay the crisis situation. So, what one issue I'm kind of having is uh, the idea of. Like that's easy to do in any role playing game where everybody's in a scene together, mm -hmm. um, or or like like if it's a let's say it's a it's a fist fight in a bar, everybody's swinging, right, right. Easy, right? Great. Only one person is rolling in this game for the whole scene, but everybody else is throwing in. Right, right. Great. Uh -huh. It's like that's like combat in Torchbearer, but when it's something like okay, Burke is getting in position, Max is up here in a fire escape waiting to drop down on the dude. The prof is, you know, pretending to be picking through a trash can, uh, a dumpster, and he's got a shotgun. Uh, Bell is waiting around the corner in the car. Like all these things are setting up to give Burke dice. And I'm like, okay, so Bell, she has driving, so she's not unskilled, so she gives him a die, and it's she doesn't have to worry about the the, the rolling a one thing. Is that? I mean, does that make sense? It, well, you see, that's the tricky thing. Is it her driving? that matters i mean when is it it's help and when is it setting up for the next you know the consequences of failure or the consequences of success um, right and i think that's sort of the 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 concept of of it matters right now that's dice yeah and, and then, table set the other stuff is table setting for the future right or or basically preparing for whichever way the dice go so yeah. there's right now 
and then there's next. So a person yeah. can sort of designate themselves, okay, I'm in I'm in I'm in next. Can there be a before? Well, you see, that's an interesting thing. Um bef- either before is either played, so we actually have seen the dice go the way right. they're gonna go, which is right. kind of what it sounds like you're more into. Otherwise yeah. it gets super meta. I like the right now yeah. next. And then we have to yeah. look at how it's all bounced. And it's like, well, you know, my car's blown out and God knows where we are in these filthy, rainy streets, right? The fact that I, you know, that I failed that roll, I ended up with a three, you know, and we're set up here and I, it's, we're stuck. Okay. That's a new situation. You know, right. That's when, that's when people start appearing out of the alleys, Right. Right. And your car is so blown out. The before the before stuff is really the stuff that literally happened before. So it's the results of the last die roll. Right. It's the results of what you had set up. It's pain or fatigue or whatever that you had. Yeah, whatever you're with. rolling with that, that didn't work out, you're suffering yeah. from it. Or hopefully you did awesome. And so you've avoided a whole ton of hazards that you could be facing right now. Right, right, right. right. Special you, effects. Well, you, you easily. I mean, a perfect one is if the the view of the citizens is a potential hazard you can do stuff beforehand so that that's not yeah. a problem right yeah. if you've eliminated we got to make sure we're not spotted we got to make sure that right. nobody you know that all that stuff is it, that we don't have to worry about passers by two, so two questions this role to keep those hazards out of there i got two questions related to that one if i'm Basically, it's paying it forward with uh, with complications or with special effects. How would you do that mechanically or physically? Like, should there be? Is it a token? Is it a? That's a really good question. There, there definitely needs, I think, in this game, a schematic in one's head. Yeah. So that what we're doing now, we have a way of saying, and then that's all going to happen. We can't. We can We can't just roll and be done because whatever right. happens that is either going to set up what the next scene is or what the situation is in it what the you know, right. how difficult it is in it and then when you're in the scene then you've got like the well there's the now and the next maybe you know with inside it um and so the the idea i mean i know people who would literally put out a sheet of paper on the table and there are literal boxes and you would put your guy in those and say, we're in this. Yeah. And that's yeah. not the worst thing in the world. Right. I want to avoid the whole no cards with dice on them. And yeah, I know, I know. And so therefore the I don't, there's also the wheels blades in the dark uses the wheels, the little right. clocks, right. which is interesting, but I don't want to do that. Like, right. I'm so what to- I'm suggesting in that case is that you merely have a very simple schematic of some kind that the game master has. Okay. And they're simply, and they just use that as a thing to tick to know like where they are in this. Oh, okay. I, well, my original concept was to use the story circle, which is right. the eight right. divided into eight. Mm-hmm. Um, so something like so that. Can, yeah. So instead of the next scene, it could go, it could pile into the next part. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is Yeah, and which only makes sense because you can let scenes be a little softer in terms of location yeah. and time and stuff. You don't yeah. have to like move it in lockstep to a new scene. But no, we're in the next yeah. part. This is the next part. It's the next phase of the right. story. It's the and part where it may where or may we're... not be in a different location. That's not the point. Yeah, right. yeah. The other question is, and this is something I wanted to do in Dark Pages and didn't do it. I think I even got artwork for it. I had in Dark Pages, I had a, a day and night token. Mm-hmm. It was just like a poker chip with a, a day scene on one side and a night scene on the other. And one of the things that a player could do is um, at various points in the game, you could flip a controller or a player could flip it. Right. And that's the, it's now night. Right, right. So, and that's like, just, right. No, I, that I, was I a, like that too. It's like let's that was a power, right? Instead right, of exactly. changing the move scene, the time along, right? Yeah, cool. But I that's like their that. turn. Mm-hmm. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah, it's something like it's that. It's very. Um, it strikes me as being, I mean, doing the screenplay. I just I finished the screenplay finally, mm-hmm. uh, three hundred forty eight pages, oh and um, yeah, it's a mini series basically. I was gonna say. <laughs> You're supposed to say a minute a page, and I'm uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in horror. So. No, no, it's it's uh-huh. it's five or six episodes. Um, but uh, one of the things, you know, the ability to just decide 
I flip it. Either I'm in a, we're in a new place or it's a new day, new time of day. And that, that factors into the whole conflicts and scenes and oh, stuff that I said. It's fantastic because basically you're undercutting somebody's ability to mess with you. You know, yeah. you're saying, well, it's going to, you know, we'll, we'll get to it tonight. And of course, somebody else is like rubbing their hands going, well, I can do all sorts of things before nighttime. And you're Flip. like, no, you can't. Right. right. Now it's night. Now it's night. Did you do it? Uh huh. You should. Yeah, I want to get. I don't want it. I don't want it to be rigid like inspectors or torchbearer with like you get this many die rolls before something happens. But I do want a sense of you can't fuck around forever. No, I you, really like that. That's one thing I really liked about the then and uh, now and next inside. I mean, I don't know what you want to call them or how you really want to deal with it, but you know, something like that. And then no, whatever it is, that next thing that's going to happen is coming down either on you or you're going there, whichever one it is. And yeah. we are dealing with the consequences of what we're doing here. You know, sandbox me no sandboxes. No, at the end of this scene, I don't go, gee, what do you want to do? Right. That No, right. never mind that nonsense. So, I mean, no, no Burke novel does that. No movie does that. We're not doing right. that either. So, um, so I kind of, I kind of like that idea. You okay, don't know cool. what it's going to be until you actually see what happens in this one, but it's going to be what comes next. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I need to, uh, I need to figure out the rules for that and what, um, cause players can choose, players can shift locations if they have a location to go to, as we talked about, right. uh -huh. they can't just go to the coffee shop unless coffee shop is part right. of their unless, character. You know, and, and, unless. Or somebody brings them. Right. You know, right. Bill says, Oh, Hey, I know this great place down, down a block away from here. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. And now, then, of course we get out. more purple pros about, you know, this coffee shop, you know, I felt at home instantly or something like yeah, that. Or it's more, it's more likely to be purple pros about Bell's butt. No, well, that's too. <laughs> yeah. That's I usually to, most. I, I have to tell you, that is the one thing I remember from that book more than any other. I mean, the oh. woman is endowed. She, it's like, yeah. Women's shapes, cars, horses, how to play pool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, they and say, right. What you know, food. And eating Chinese food. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the day night thing and the, in the scene to scene shifting, that's going to be a choice. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cool stuff to think about, but I I'm, think we're, I, I like what we're talking about with this stuff. And I think that, uh, I know I keep talking about it, but it may be about that point where we gather some people for a session. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid so. <laughs> Damn thing. <laughs> Damn game nope. design sooner or later. <laughs> sooner or later you have to play it. Ugh, the worst. Versus, yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll well, keep thanks. hammering on it. I'll, I'll incorporate these notes and we'll, we'll meet again for, uh, to talk about other shit. Excellent. Yeah. Good luck on everything. So. Thank you very much. I'll see you later.